Hello everyone, welcome to the market outlook uh, this week. Gaurang Shah here from Jujit Financial Services and as I speak to all of you all, this Monday morning at around about uh, 10.30, 10.40, markets have witnessed a little bit of recovery from the morning lows and in fact trading marginally in the green. So let me first of all give you certain levels on Sensex, Nifty, Nifty Bank, Rupee Dollar Equation and Crude Oil. So Sensex is up about 60 odd points, 72,080 is the level on Sensex. Nifty is up 8 odd points, 21,720 is the level on Nifty. Nifty Bank marginally down 90 odd points, 48,061 is the level on Nifty Bank. And Rupee Dollar Equation, uh, strength of about 0 0.07 paise on the rupee against the dollar and the level is 83.07. Uh, energy basket Brent and NYMEX. Brent is trading at about $77.87 a barrel and NYMEX is trading at about $72.90 a barrel. Both of them friends are weak despite the uh, uncertainty and issues uh, and disruption in the Red Sea caused by Houthi rebels. Uh, we are seeing uh, lower levels on the crude oil basket and let's hope it stays this way unless and until there is any meaningful disruption in the global supply pipeline i think lower level should persist uh, over here which is extremely positive for emerging market economics like india now coming to the market well first of all uh, this week our sense is that we could spend the entire week consolidating and that consolidation will be broadly in the range of 21600 on the lower side i'm talking about nifty spot and on the higher side, uh, 21,750, 21,800 on the higher side. Plus minus 50 odd points on both the ranges, uh, given the kind of uh, volatility and choppiness that we might witness uh, this week and days to come. So this is the broad level that uh, we have lined up, uh, keeping in mind the uh, data points that we've seen up until now this Monday morning. So, and most of the time, if you've seen, Though we have slipped below 21,600, but uh, 21,600 has held out quite smartly over the last uh, couple of days. So let's hope this time around also, given the choppiness and volatility, 21,600 holds out. It's not like it's a sacrosanct level, but uh, we've seen bounce back from those levels. So broadly, that's going to be the range. Uh, action, if any, our senses would be witnessed in uh, next week onwards, so more so, uh, keeping in mind the uh, unfolding of uh, Q3 numbers this financial year and I think uh, sectorally and stock specific uh, is what we'll witness uh, moves coming in uh, once we have the numbers in front of us and we have dissected those numbers but in uh, overall if I have to put uh, in perspective uh, how the Q3 earnings is likely to unfold or what the expectation is then we are in a position to do uh, better than what we've done in the first and second quarter and our sense is that uh, post the numbers unfolding and uh, have been understood there is a case or a possibility of upgrades coming through com more upgrades coming through compared to the second quarter so let's hope uh, q3 earnings have a decent story to tell us in terms of uh, disruption that I have mentioned in the global supply pipeline uh, in the Red Sea caused by the Houthi rebels. Uh, this is a phenomena which one would react only once the events unfold. There is pressure from the global economies uh, on to the rebel-led organization or countries who are supporting these rebels to possibly find out a better way uh, in terms of whatever they want to negotiate. Uh, so let's hope that it stays this way and there is no major disruption. Secondly, on fallback of the Q3 earnings numbers unfolding next week onwards, one sector that we are extremely positive on is banking and finance. So you have public sector bank, private sector bank and strong NBFCs. And very recently over the past week, 10 days, uh, we have heard a couple of announcements made by some of the banks as well as NBFCs as far as their advances, deposits and loan book growth is concerned. And they have come out very, very strong. 
this possibly gives us an indication that q3 numbers are going to be much much better for banking and finance both public sector bank private sector banks and strong nbfcs and microfinance companies on fallback of this loan book growth and more importantly the interest rates have stayed stable uh, anticipation is that uh, the credit policy that we are going to witness uh, in the near future if the data points are supportive and if the inflation does not uh, move above the comfort zone then a slight possibility of interest rate cuts in the first 3 months calendar months january february march 24 this is what our anticipation is subject to provided all the data points supports our uh, assumption and more importantly for banking and finance over the last many quarters what we have seen is the gross and net pa in the gross and net npa levels have come down and provisioning has come down and that has lead to a huge earnings upgrade and in an environment where credit demand is going to stay very robust for a pretty long period of time and of course the importance of banking and finance in a emerging market economy like india is very very supportive <clears throat> one more uh, pleasant thing has happened this morning uh, india has beaten taiwan in the emerge uh, uh, msci emerging market index and we are second to china now so this is a achievement in itself in terms of uh, performance and return so let's hope we see many more such milestones as we go forward from here on so broadly now on the markets absolutely in a range and i think some weeks and days are always better to see markets consolidate see a little bit of profit booking stay in a range doesn't give any kind of uh, unnatural scare to the investors and i think data points are also very very supportive so our anticipation is that 21600 on the nifty spot lower side should hold out and little bit of headwind or resistance uh, at higher level of 21750 21800 uh some of the investment ideas that we would like to highlight we always speak about investment ideas so we have highlighted two uh names from two different sectors first one is from <clears throat> the auto pack a company that is not really spoken about otherwise and focused on to uh electric buses and that is electra green tech i don't remember if we have mentioned this particular name earlier but nevertheless uh, very recently about a week or uh, 10 days back uh, or a fortnight back uh, the management of electra green tech has come out and given out of a batam in terms of the order intake and they have received uh, large orders from state transport corporation and uh, given the optimism of and of course the you know last month if you actually go to see the registration of electric vehicles has beaten all time record uh, in certain states keeping in mind the central government's focus on clean and green energy keeping in mind <clears throat> dedicated focus from the state governments our view is that uh, the order book from not only state transport authority but also from private players schools etc should possibly uh, keep the uh, order book very healthy for electra green tech and they have also invested a lot of uh, uh, capital in r&d uh, and uh, identifying opportunities in terms of uh, new technology electric vehicle batteries which can possibly stay charged for a long period of time and takes a short period to charge it to the full capacity so the first name is electra green tech second one is from a power transmission and distribution uh, government owned company called power grid corporation friends this is a company which is virtually has a monopoly in terms of uh, grid lines these grid lines run across india from one state to another state and within the state inter state that is uh, keeping in mind the power generation capacity existing and the new power generating capacity adding in in form of solar wind as well as hydro uh, uv companies will require the grid network of power grid to carry their power generated from one end to the other end that is from the power generation to the consumer end 
and uh, this company is also investing a lot in terms of creating new grid infrastructure last year if i recollect right there were three bonuses that were given out by mega uh, padan there were three dividends that were given out by power grid totaling to about 14 or 15 odd rupees and there was a bonus also now since it's a government owned uh, enterprise uh, actually every year they are going to be dividends being paid to the government and if you happen to be the shareholder you will also get that dividend and after adjusting for the three dividends and the bonus the stock stock is trading at about 240 plus levels <clears throat> which is possibly its all time high or near all time high all these are both these ideas in fact electra green tech as well as power grid corporation are fundamentally investment ideas from a long term point of view start accumulating on corrections bad market consolidation lower level use opportunities to accumulate the stock and stay invested from a long period of time please bear in mind these are not short term or medium term trading ideas these are long term fundamental investment ideas and you need to have at least one and a half two year plus kind of time horizon thank you very much for your patience hearing and i'll see you again next week till then please do take care of your health bye bye